Now on this one, this one's a little difficult just because of the grammar. It says, if from any point in the base of an isosceles triangle, parallels to the equal sides are drawn, a parallelogram is formed whose perimeter is equal to the sum of the sides. A lot of words. Uh, you might have gotten lost. So what you need to do is break this down using your grammar. We'll get rid of the prepositional phrases in the first part and just find the bare bones sentence, which is parallels are drawn. I have that written there as start. That's our starting point. And the result we want to get from that is that a parallelogram is formed. So we start with an isosceles triangle and draw some parallels, and then we get a parallelogram. Now, the parallels are drawn from any point in the base of an isosceles triangle. And they're drawn to the equal sides. From is the starting point, to is the ending point. So we get something like this. We have an isosceles triangle, ABC, where AB equals BC. Okay, remember that's what it said. We had an isosceles triangle. Now from any point, like D, any point in the base of the isosceles triangle, AC is the base, we draw two lines, and the lines are parallel to AB and BC, and the lines go to those sides. So let's go back and look at that. It says, from any point in the base of an isosceles triangle to the equal sides. That's where we're going. Start at the base, end up at the equal sides. What else do we know? We're drawing parallels to the equal sides. So parallels, you know, they, that means they have to be parallel to one of the sides. So it could be kind of confusing because they're parallel to it, but they go to it as well. So FD is parallel to BC, like we have written there, and DE is parallel to AB, as we have written there, and D is a point in AC, the base of the triangle. And then I have up there AB equals BC. Okay, we have to show that a parallelogram is formed, and you can see FDEB. Is to, we have to show it's a parallelogram, and then we have to show that the perimeter is equal to the sum of the equal sides. So we have two things we got to show, that we get a parallelogram and that its perimeter is equal to the sum of the equal sides. Now the parallelogram thing is easy because we're given BE and FD are parallel. It was done by construction, I should say. And DE and FB are parallel by construction. So opposite sides are parallel, so it's a parallelogram. Clearly, it's a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. Now, we have to show its perimeter is equal to AB plus BC. I will write that down. Perimeter equals AB plus BC. So, pretty straightforward. We just have to use what we knew about parallel lines. Now look at the left part of the triangle, the big triangle. We have AB and ED. Let me draw AC first, draw the base. And then we had ED parallel to that. Now notice that these two angles right here, let me get on the pencil, okay. These two angles are corresponding angles. You got the two parallels and the transversal. You have corresponding angles there. Because we have parallels, those are congruent. So this equals this. But we already know that A and C are equal because they are the base angles of an isosceles triangle. But hey, DEC is an isosceles triangle because two angles are congruent. So I know opposite, the sides opposite, the equal angles are congruent, if you remember that. So DE equals EC. Now in a similar fashion, we can show using corresponding angles, looking at the other parallels, 
if we have BC and FD and AC. So again, we have corresponding angles here and here. So they're congruent because they're corresponding angles on parallel lines. So AFD is also an isosceles. So we know that this side equals this side. Okay, one more thing and then we're almost done. Remember in a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. So BE is equal to FD and FB equals DE. Opposite sides are congruent. Okay, now let's put it all together and we are done. So, AB plus BC equals AF plus FB plus BE plus EC. So notice all I did was get AB and look at the two segments to make it up, AF and FB, and I have them written down there. And then we got BC and broke it into two little segments, BE and EC. So AB is AF plus FB and BC is BE plus EC. All right, now let's look at some stuff we have. With the parallel lines, we showed that AF was equal to FD as we have marked. And we showed that, you know, we had that marked with the two uh, tick marks. And we showed DE equals EC. Typo equals EC. There we go. DE equals EC. So now we can do some substitutions. In place of AF, I can put FD. I'll leave FB alone because it is already part of the parallelogram. Notice FD is part of the parallelogram. BE is already part of the parallelogram, so I'll leave that alone. But notice EC is equal to DE, as we had written out on the left there. So we have FD plus FB plus BE plus DE. And if you look at those and you look at the figure, you see that that is the perimeter. Let me put equals perimeter of the parallelogram. And we are done. So to look back at this, we showed that the parallels, well, when you draw parallels to the equal sides of an isosceles triangle to the sides, you get a parallelogram. And that parallelogram has a, per a perimeter equal to AB plus BC. So we did it. Very good.